Hello everybody and welcome to Freedom Fighter. I hope everybody's alright. We are at HNP Liverpool. This afternoon. It's a new signage, don't they? This has actually been uh, rated one of the most disgusting prisons and foul, rat infested. It's also um, problems with prisoners uh, self harming in here, um, taking their own lives. Uh, incident where a prisoner that um, was supposed to be checked regularly by prison officers but was actually left uh, so he ended up taking his own life guys while the prison officers just sat there and watched have a walk around the building and then come back I saw a lot of that walls, guys. Of course, it's a no drone zone. an officer just walking up guys pretending he's uh, taking a phone call even though he's talking to nobody Got any drugs in your bag? Yeah. <laughs> 
bent off his rasa. I wonder if he's just going to sit there and drink coffee all day, guys. Like I said, uh, HMP Liverpool are supposed to actually protect prisoners and make sure that they're all right inside. But they just leave them banged up to take their own life. But it's not just one case. These thousands... It was actually horrendous when this prison, they decided to actually change the name a couple of years ago to HMP Liverpool. This one of your gates. All fenced stuff, guys. But apparently, it's supposed to be a public footpath, but it's fenced off. So it's supposed to be a public footpath. Two prisons, two prison officers here. Like I said, uh, Magistrate Prison Liverpool, aka Walton is in Liverpool. Category B prison, its capacity is 1,370. We've got open in 1855. They're basically known as Walton Gold. As I said, it was in construction in 1843 and 1955 to the design of John Waitman Borough Survey. It's had, uh, on the 4th of February 1939, the area attempted but failed to break a wall of the prison due to the Esplan bombing campaign in Britain that year. During the Liverpool Blitz of World War II, 18th of September, the German Iron Explosion Bomb fell on the wing of the prison, demolishing it, killing 22 inmates. The body of one was not found until 11 years later when the wood was finally cleared. Hello. <laughs> it was also uh, the physical site of 62 executions between 1887 and 1964. The last execution at the prison was Peter Allen. And his, and his, and his partner, Gwyn Owen Evans, convicted of murdering John West in 1964. They were hanged 
the 13th of August 1964. Alan was hanged here, and Evans was hanged in Strangeways in Manchester. In 2003 of May, it was reported by Your Majesty's Inspector of Prison to bear criticism Liverpool Prison for our for its overcrowding and poor industrial and local relationships. The February guest is reported in February 2010. Drugs, bullying and violence, which following us. Wait dad, wait a minute. We got one following us. No, they'll clobber you at back at head. We've got all the information on for you guys. Cockroaches and rats infected. Uh, All sorts of guys. Let's have to pull this information on for you guys. Hell yeah. BBC, HMP Liverpool. Worst prison conditions improved dramatically. Cheers after inspectors found filthy toilets and some areas so as the desk they could not be cleaned. Who have you to all that Peter Clark? A new governor was appointed. He still needs work doing in the prison. Yeah. One area has a deemed so filthy, infected and hazardous, it could not be cleaned. One inspector also found exposed wire, electrical wires and filthy leaking toilets. It's also been uh, prisoners to get drugs uh, also on the increase. Waller Fills 2017. Uh, As I said. Needs. It's been done. It's got bullying, drugs, violence. And here we are. I've just found something. Listen to this. October 2017. The prisoner governor, Peter Francis, was dismissed from his roles for operating reasons after a staff inspector by Your Majesty's prison has previously been labelled a questionable leader. It was basically reported that rats and cockroach infestors and basic retainers such as repairing in toilets and leakages had too many cases to carry out. Also nope. Why not? I'm on a public footpath. Perfectly legal. Is that a bit nice, Eddie? Nope. What's it for? You, you've got inside of being horrendous to prisoners and it's wrong. You've let my prisoners actually go and commit suicide and you basically well, just well, watch them. Asshole, but you're not actually allowed to film. Yes, you are. Yes, Section 33, Criminal Justice Act. Criminal Justice Act? Yeah. So what's this over? 
film from January 2020. Well, you're letting prisoners. Well, I'll be requesting that as well. What about that Lee guy who'll, who'll, commit, who'll commit suicide? You just stood and watched him. Shows you you're supposed to be doing a job and helping the public. You're not really doing that, are you? Smuggling drugs into prisons, sleeping with inmates. Yeah, it's really doing a good job. It's supposed to be to Billy Tank people. Where's prison? Got self care budget. Went on to rat infested, cockroach infested, squatted jail, deaths and violence fear of prisons. It's disgusting. Because you're telling some old truths. No, we don't like it because we don't like you telling the same truths. That's some pale little poor guys. The worst prison, and I have it still. for the inmates of this prison. Yep. Yeah. Alright. HMP Liverpool guys. The mother of a mentally ill prisoner who killed himself at Liverpool jail says the justice system has failed her son.
Tony Payne was found hanged in his cell on Monday afternoon. He's the third inmate to take his own life since a highly critical report about the prison last September. The trust which runs healthcare at the jail says it wants to involve Tony's family in the investigation into what happened. Here's our Merseyside reporter, Andy Gill. Tony Payne had been mentally ill since he was a teenager. In January, he was given 18 months for a fray and endangering the public after climbing onto a roof last October. His mother Janet says his behaviour then was caused by his illness and she wrote to the judge begging him not to send her son to jail. I put in the letter, please don't send my son to prison because he's just not well. He, he, wouldn't, he, just, he wouldn't harm anyone. I said, please just consider the options. Prison's not for him. He could not be able to handle prison. Mrs Payne says when Tony first arrived at Liverpool Prison on remand, he was given an initial assessment for his psychological needs, but then saw no mental health specialist. A general practitioner gave him stronger antidepressants. And she says Tony had to wait for two weeks for medication to treat his psychosis. I'd say, have you seen anyone? Have you seen a psychiatrist? Did anyone tell him? He'd go, well, no. He said, I'd say, have you seen the doctor? And then he'd go, if you see a doctor, you've got to put an application. And it can take a week, it can take two weeks. He said, it's not just like going to the doctor's mum, you don't understand what it's like in here. It's horrible, he said, they're not interested. What do you think of the way Tony was treated while he was in Liverpool prison? Oh my God, he's been treated like a criminal and an animal. And he was just a cry for help. And the justice system has failed him. Earlier this month, Tony wrote to his mum saying he didn't feel safe in prison. He's the third inmate to commit suicide at Liverpool since inspectors said conditions were among the worst they'd seen and since the BBC reported that staff shortages meant mentally ill prisoners were at risk. Today in Parliament, the chair of the Justice Select Committee said it was time to give inspectors more powers. At the moment, the prison service marks its own homework. That is not satisfactory and it can breed complacency. We recommend, therefore, that the inspector for prisons be given additional resource so that they could follow up on the implementation of their own rec of their recommendations and hold the prison to account. In a statement, the trust which runs healthcare at Liverpool Prison said there'll be a full investigation and the process invites family members to be involved as their perspective is very important and needs to be heard. Therefore, whilst we cannot respond specifically to the points made at this time, we acknowledge them, take them very seriously, and we would welcome the opportunity to have a detailed discussion directly with family members. Tony Payne's family say changes are needed now. Oh God, I've got to sort that system out before another family's got to go through what I've been through and another life's lost. Andy Gill, BBC Northwest Tonight, Liverpool. Two years ago, Bessie Braddock, the then MP for Liverpool Exchange Division, stood in this chamber and raised concerns about the appalling conditions at Liverpool Prison, then called Walton Prison, and particularly the treatment of prisoners with mental illness. In the last two years at that very same prison, seven inmates have taken their life, including Tony Payne, who took his life in that prison two weeks ago. I note that the Minister said on the 27th, 22nd of February that the conditions at the prison were very disturbing and unacceptable. What action is the Minister going to take today to ensure that all prisoners' mental health needs are adequately met and no other prisoner takes their life in one of our prisons? Minister. So, uh, as the Honourable Member uh, has mentioned, Liverpool Prison was very disturbing. I visited Liverpool Prison. Mental health provision is now significantly better than it was at the time of the inspection and I spent quite a lot of time with the mental health staff there. But there is a broader issue here. Although we are reducing suicide, there's still far too much of it happening. And a lot of this is going to be about making sure not only that we deal with the drugs, but also that we have the right kind of purposeful activity in the prisons so that the prisoners don't feel the temptation to take their own lives.